Wow, this equation looks pretty long, huh? But let me tell you guys this first. I got this question from this math contest book, right? So it's in the, in the year of uh, 2001. And let's see how we can solve it. Oh, not me, oh, you guys try it first, right? So go and pause the video. Yeah, yeah. Done? Okay, let's see. Uh, if we multiply this out, this is going to be crazy, huh? Because you will have to fold your wow, how many times I... Yeah, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just combine the fractions instead of each parentheses and hope for the best. So for the first one, we'll just multiply the top and bottom by n. So in fact, this right here is the same as saying n plus 1 over n. Okay, so that's the first that that's a result for the first parentheses and then for the second one uh get the common denominator so we will have n plus one ah. so this right here will be n plus one and then plus one so we have n plus two cool huh yeah and then the third one is oh let's multiply n plus two on the bottom and then n plus two plus one so altogether we have n plus three and then n plus three you know it it will be n plus four Aha! And all in all, they will be equal to 51 over 49. Why is this so good? It is. Why? Check. Eh? N plus 1, cancel. N plus 2, cancel. N plus 3, bye bye. So all in all, we just have N plus 4 over N. And this is equal to 51 over 49. So it's not that scary anymore, even though this is still a fractional or rational equation. Um, but no, not, not bad at all. Uh, one easy way to do it is just cross multiply. So 49 times that, so I'll put this down like here. 49 times n plus 4, and then uh, let me just... 49 times n plus 4, and then that's equal to 51 times n. And then just work this out. So this right here is 49n plus 196, and this is equal to 51n. And then move this to the other side, so 196 is equal to 2n. Divide both sides by 2. Ladies and gentlemen, n equals 98. Yeah, very clean. Yeah, this equation is very clean. And of course, if you allow, you can have more and more of these kind of terms. And whenever this kind of things happen, this is um, this is called this is called the telescoping situation, telescoping. Yeah, this is not sum though. This is a product, so you can call this to be a telescoping product, right? Because when you multiply a bunch of things, a lot of things in the middle they just cancel, and we actually just have this over that, All right? So for more equations like this, or maybe some other equations. That you find interesting, check out my playlist over there.